Hello everyone, hope you all are doing very well. If you are watching this video, it means you have already used the Stable Diffusion Generative AI model either through the Dream Studio service or you have used the Stable Diffusion model on your machine by consuming any of the open source applications available all over the internet. So I believe is that neither the Stable Diffusion Generative AI model nor the Dream Studio service is new to you. And now the power of a stable diffusion generative AI model is available inside the Blender by using the stable diffusion plugin installed in your Blender and using your Dream Studio account and combining these two, you can create content directly inside your Blender 3D Studio. So in this video, we are going to complete three main things. First, we will learn how to install the plugin. Second, we make sure that plugin is working by connecting it through your Dream Studio account to take the API from your Dream Studio account and integrate with the Stable Diffusion plugin, which is installed inside the Blender. Once plugin is up and running, we are going to use the plugin to generate the images based on your prompt and by setting different options available through the prompt and generating the texture by using image to image framework and finally generating the animation or the videos by providing a lots of input frames at source and then by adding a prompt you can generate your target images and then finally combining those target images generated through the stable diffusion plugin and using third party applications such as Image Magic or FFmpeg, you can convert those frames into the video. So let's get ourselves started. So while visiting to the stability.ai website, we can see that the Blender plugin for the stability.ai has been released. So if you would want to get started with the Blender plugin for the stability.ai, First, you need to visit the Stability AI GitHub repo. There, you can find this Stability Blender add-on plugin page, and then you visit to releases. And within the releases, the very latest one is the 0.0.15, where you could get this plugin, which you can download to your local machine. So I have downloaded this plugin to my local machine. So the source code is still not available because if you download these files, you will find there is just a text file as a placeholder. So source code is not released yet. So in order to use the stability AI plugin in Blender, you still need to have the access to the Dream Studio. So first, if you do not have access to Dream Studio, just go to beta.dreamstudio.ai and sign up and you will be given some free credits and once you exhaust all those credits then you will have to buy your more credits but that access is really needed and then we will be using the api key from the dream studio within the blender to make it work let's come back to our stability ai for blender documentation so you need to go to platform.stability.ai here you will find the integration section where you will find the Blender and there are the instructions to install it. So let's get started with Blender first. Here I already have the Blender latest in my machine and it's running. So you would need to add the plugin. So plugins are available in the edit and in the edit section, here are the preferences. And after opening the Blender preference, you will find here the add-ons and within the add-ons you can add new add-ons so we can select the install option and the zip file we have just downloaded from the stability ai github repo we can use that file so stability plugin has been selected and as you can see that a ai stability for for blender that plugin is available here and we can enable it so that plugin is enabled now and here is the API key. So now we need to take the Dream Studio API key and add here. So I will be going to Dream Studio and in my account, there is the API key, which I will copy it. And right now, because this is just a base key, that's why I have a hundred credits available, which can give me about 500 images. But if you 
do not have any available credits that make sure that you have to have some credit to use this blender plugin we come back we paste the key and after the api key is added we can close this after you closed the window you can always go back to preferences and then make sure the add-ons which you have just added is enabled so if we select the list of all enabled plugins you will be seeing the ai for stability ai stability for the blender is listed there and it shows that it's a third party plugin which is enabled and here when i selected the check for update so update now to 0.0.15 .0 so this is actually the 0.0.0.15 so that's the plugin we already have so there are some ambiguity because we have downloaded this plugin which is basically the 0.0.15 but it actually shows the 0.0.7 you can say reinstall dependency so i have selected the reinstall dependency restart blender we don't need to save anything let's come back to preferences add-on stability right now it's still showing us a 0.0.7 so we made sure that we have the latest package which is available at the stability ai github page we downloaded and that's what we have installed here so let's close this window So in this next step, we are going to apply the stability AI add-on available in our Blender, which we have just installed and create the images, texture, as well as the animations. When you are going to follow the documentation, you will also find that you can create the images, textures, and the animation. So once you have the add-on installed in your machine with the Blender, you can go look into your 3d project in blender there is a you see that there is a very tiny carrot and that's where you can see that your stability ai add-on is available you can actually make this bigger and smaller depending on how much space you have available in your desktop and as you can see that i am already logged in this using my gmail account and available credits here is the prompt and looking into the init type, you will find these three options, the texture, text prompt, as well as the animation. So first one is the text prompt. And depending on your choice, here are the generation, op generation options. So your prompt is 10th here. And then for every prompt, you can also add the various presets. This is our prompt. So I will create is a magical forest with rows and dots and realistic so that's our prompt and the type we need to make sure it's a text prompt only and we are using the 512 by 512 you can actually change the resolution if you would want to change it this is a little tricky so make sure that this is not checked unless you want to so height we will keep the 512 width we will try to make it 1024 prompt strength is 7.5 if you would want to reduce it you can actually reduce it or or extend it depending on you would want here is your setting and if you would want to look for a documentation you can click here so making this 1024 as you can see it's gonna cost me about a one credit here uh, I already have 92 credits so you know what you are really using and then when you are playing with it you need to make sure that you your hands are really very uh, set because these options are kind of you know you click something accidentally and something might close something might open so when we initialize our prompt option and we have set up uh, set it up our generative uh, our generation options we can go ahead and click this dream prompt only and that's where the images is going to show up and if you want to see the images you can actually come here and open the uh, image editor view so that's where the image will be uh, created in this session of uh, blender and then you can see those images here so we can say let's create the image and this shows that the request from this machine to the dream studio has been sent and now the dream studio is going to give us the image which we are going to get here and now you can see here in the right side here is the uh, magical forest uh, if you would want to make it bigger you can actually hold it and now you know what was your prompt so here is a magical forest with ro rose and dogs 
image and that's a very first option of using the text prompt in the second option we are going to use the textures and if you would want to select the texture here uh, you can see here that it shows that what kind of texture you would want to start like you need some kind of default texture to uh, to load and here you can select the image and as you can see that i do not have any texture image loaded so i would need to load an image so i can actually load open any texture image here so i have opened a black and white texture here and this is what the black and white texture i have just loaded and if you would want to see that texture you can actually see here so this is the texture which i have just loaded here and i would want that stability ai to use this texture image to create the act texture for me and as you can see that for the texture type we need to have another generation option which is like the init strength so you can say whatever strength you would want to use i can say i would like to use uh, 0 0.25 as my init uh, strength prompt strength and here in the prompt you can actually change it or you can say seamless texture so we really need to make sure that our prompt is actually adjusting towards the given image and we can also say black and white if you want high resolution okay let's use this one and black and white and then create another texture and all these images are going to be available listed here because these are the generated output so you can get an idea that what is being generated based on your prompt or based on the prompt you are using with the stability ai and because we have asked for high resolution so that's why you see that it's taking a little longer time to generate the image and then change its resolution to higher resolution now as you can see that our texture is created which is high resolution black and white seamless because so this is the second option we have used to create the texture based on a given image in the next step we are going to create the animation and in order to create the animation basically you need a collection of images which you have in this machine and all those images will be converted into the 3d or whatever target prompt you would want to apply so first thing if you will change this uh, init type to animation you will see that some of these properties has been changed so the property for the animation the generate options are exactly the same when you are using texture because you are using a source image so that's the animation and here as you can see that it is expecting us to provide a folder where the frames are located so we need to provide a folder so here is a gif which is used as a source image and i have taken that image directly from this animation so this is the project which is available in the stability ai documentation so i just use this gif as our source image here and this gif is actually reduced uh, for just only 20 frames so that's why it's easier for us to complete this project faster so this image has been broken into all the uh, frames into the png format and that will be used as the source for us to generate the animation using stability ai plugin so here the frames that's our source and as you can see here that in this city folder here are png images and then there are jpeg too but jpeg are not accepted so if you do not have png you you will get an error that your input uh, source folder does not have the png so you need to make sure all the pngs are there and when you accept this folder system will read and figure it out how many images are there and based on that you will get your credit cost so it says that i have about 25 to 30 images and based on that it's gonna take nine credits out in order to generate the 3d frame so we will leave this whole thing as it is we don't really need i will update the prompt here if you would want to change the init strength as prompt strength we can actually go and convert this prompt to stand to maybe just 2.0 and that's our source if you would want to change the resolution based on render resolution if you select here again the the images are not the multiples of 64 that's why you are getting error so that's why we are using this 
section to generate the updated images based on 512 by 512 and as you can see here it says that the prompt is empty so we need to put the prompt here which will be applied to this city images so we can say a magical and spiritual spiritual city that's our prompt and as soon as you give in the prompt as you can see that uh, our option to create the animation is ready and rest is everything same the only thing i have changed is the pitch change to prompt strength and i will go ahead and generate the dream animation and as you could see here there are 27 frames so each frame will take x amount of time about 10 seconds to complete what we are looking into right. i will just wait for this whole process to complete and i will jump back to again when the all 27 frames are completed and if you click on open output folder here you will see that depending on the number of frames we have completed here is our output and if you look into the first image that is based on given image and if you look into the city small 001 that is what it really look like so it's definitely taking a guide from here if you look into the 10 this is 10 this is 10 so definitely the prompt is being forced a lot in order to generate our target images so it took about two minutes to get all this completed our output images here now if we combine all of these images into the video file and that's where your video or the animation will be created so all these frames i have saved into a particular folder which is easily accessible for us so all of these images which are generated from this dream animation sequence i'm going to convert them into the video by using the ffmpeg command if you are going to look into the documentation you will also find the use of ffmpeg command or the uh, image magic to create your video i have ffmpeg installed in this machine so i will be using ffmpeg here in the command line i have access to all of these images which we just created so ffmpeg is our command as you can see that i do have the ffmpeg and here is the version for the version which i'm using and the library which are being applied to build the videos so dash frame rate and because we have about 25 images so we will use the five frames per second so that's kind of frame frame rate and next we are going to use this pattern type so glob it means our images are all in sequence so we can use the order of the images they are created so that's the glob type then we need to say c colon v that is the encoder we are going to use in content encoding to generate our video and for that we are using the 264 you know x264 so this is the library which we are going to use to generate the output which is going to use the yuv 420p which is kind of uh, encoder which is available mostly uh, machines that's going to play your output file and you can say your output file so out dot mp4 so that is your first file and it's going to encode all those frames and if you look into the out.mp4 is available now here is the out.mp4 if we play it and that's how your output video is generated based on your dream studio plugin in blender so this is the video which has been created based on the dream studio plugin in the blender so we have covered all three options available here we have covered the text prompt only we have covered the texture and finally we have also covered the animation to use with blender where your stability ai plugin is installed and ready to work so that's all i had for you in this video the content which we have covered is also available in details in the description section of this video the asset and the images which i have used in this video are also going to be available through my public github repo please feel free to comment and suggest if you have anything with regard to this video once again i appreciate your time thank you so much for that and i'm looking forward to see seeing you in my next video until then thank you so much